Boxing in the ring is a lonely place, just you and your opponent, no one else. When I go in the ring, I know I'm not on my own, I've got God on my side as well. God's going to give me that strength, that inner strength, to go in there and win the fight. Amir Khan is a rare thing in sport. How's it going, boys? All right. How am I? A British Asian role model. A world champion who still lives with his parents. They've been with me from day one. My dad never missed a boxing fight. And a prominent Muslim, not afraid to address the image of Islam today. You know, with the terror since 9-11, I think the Muslims did get a bad name and they need people like me to, you know, promote the Muslims. That look, we're not all like this. On this month's Revealed, we follow the defending champion as he sets his sights on international stardom. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! As Britain's biggest boxing star, junior welterweight champion Amir Khan is facing his most important fight yet, his American debut. But with only two weeks until this career-defining fight, training was disrupted by visa complications. And Khan, with his trainer Freddie Roach, has been stuck in nearby Canada for 13 days. I'm not at a call yet, I'm not at a call yet, no? Yeah, it's taking long, you know, but... Um... It's just one of them things. Um, the, my my um, my lawyer, who's who's helping me go through this, said to me, "Look, uh, it could take up to two days or two weeks. So you just put up with it." I'm just happy Freddie and Alex Ruiza come over here to train me. He needed me in Vancouver. I had to leave my gym with 12 other fighters there. I'm here because he's my priority right now. He's he's got the big fight coming up. He's he's important to me. While Amir pushes on with training in Vancouver, his parents and brother remain in Los Angeles, standing by for news. He's in Vancouver in Canada at the moment, obviously there's a couple of uh, complications. Amir's father suspects that the family name may be a factor in the delay. Khan, you know, Khan obviously, because I think there are a lot of other, other Khans who have been involved in something, you know, which, you know, happened in 9-11. Like Amir Iqbal Khan, it matches a terrorist name or something and I always get pulled over. I think it's a good thing because it's security and it's safety for everybody really I, and I, I've, not, I've got nothing against that at all but it's just unfortunate it happened to us very close to the fight. Back in Vancouver Team Khan have set up temporary camp in a local gym called Sugar Rays. The one person who does seem to be enjoying the delay with a visa is Sugar Rays manager Bob McAdam. Hello, I'm very, very well. Great. It was a surprise. Um, we're delighted that they're here. Um, I would say that uh, it's kind of the analogy would be if you had a little backstreet recording studio and Elvis Presley arrived out of the blue and said, "Look, we're going to cut an album." That's what it's like having Freddie Roach and Amir Khan, you know, training in your gym. It's just unbelievably wonderful. Okay, I'll get more mats for you. Are you sure? Oh, absolutely. If you if you ain't got it, then. I haven't heard one word of complaint. They haven't made one kind of reference to the fact that they haven't got the visa yet. They're just wonderful. The fight's getting close and uh, you know, they're, they're anxious. Training's going really well for this fight, you know, they're putting the best training camps I've had. He was so strong and sharp. You know, this is the boring part when you have to wait around and just wait for the fight. It's like a horse ready, they're ready to run, you know. A former boxer himself, Trainer Freddie Roach suffers from Parkinson's disease. Despite this, he is considered one of the best in the business. I know not to get too close to, to a fighter because that will affect the working relationship. So I'm kind of like the father figure that's not always home. You know, I built my fan base in the UK and I want to do the same in America now. And I know with the style I have, it's exciting, it's explosive and the Americans will love my style. Yeah. Khan's opponent, New Yorker Pauli Malignaggi, is a fighter with a reputation for fast fists and an even quicker mouth. When you miss, you're paying the price of getting punched in your mouth. Are we going to find out if the speed is for real or not? Next 
Saturday night, he's in for a rude awakening. Without a visa, there won't be a fight at all. All right, take easy, bud. Eight days before the fight, the visa comes through. Yeah. Yeah, it's been approved. Smile for me. Uh, got it, yeah. I'll show you it. I don't know, a funny picture, but... Yeah. But it took me two weeks and they only give me a... 23-day visa. So at least it covers the fight. Just hours later, on American soil, Amir and his father reunite with relief. Oh, he's looking good. Freddie looked after him. Freddie's definitely looked after him, you know. At the family apartment in Los Angeles, Amir can put the visa ordeal behind him. I'm gonna get all my stuff packed now. I might take these three with me to New York. You know, if I think back now, like the last two weeks were kind of very stressful. I was stuck in Canada, waiting for the visa, uh, training in a new environment. I'm away from my family, friends, and I was on my own. He's a youngster. You know, I'm sure you guys know out, out there, every youngster at that sort of age, you think, oh, I'll manage, but we make sure he has the right things with him, eat the right food, even go to bed at the right time. It's very important for Amelia to, uh, well, any youngster to have the family behind you. Very important. <laughs> they, they on diets, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, nah, I'm on a, because uh, it's close to the flight, I like to, uh, especially a week before, I like to just you know, eat the right food and put the right fuel in your body. <laughs> He was a very hyperactive kid when he was a young So I said to him, yeah, I said, come on, do you fancy going to the gym? All I want to do is wear him out. I would never have dreamt that time that he would become a world champion. Have you been going through my cupboards again? <laughs> have you been going through my drawers? That's my daughter. My, my parents are very, and my family are very, are very you know, they're not, not big-headed one bit. They appreciate what God's given me and how far I've got in my sport because we know how hard it is. Boxing is a very tough sport. One day you've got it, tomorrow we can all go. With that in mind, Khan and his family head for New York. But will the plucky Brit get the welcome he's hoping for?